Alright guys, we're going to pick up where we left off in the previous video. The, my camera battery ran, ran out on me abruptly, so I didn't have a chance to finish the game, although Suckless time was certainly finished. And we're picking it up with two outs in the bottom of the eighth. Bob Grenier just drew a two-out walk, and now Ryan Sandberg is at the plate facing Dave Rucker. And Sandberg against the lefty Rucker. It's a 3-6. 3-6 for Sandberg against the lefty. A 3-6 is a single with one star, so runners now at first and second as the Cubs try to get an insurance run here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Brings up the Sarge, Gary Matthews, and uh, Lee Smith is ready in the bullpen to pitch the bottom of the ninth after this inning is over. Here's Matthews, the Sarge. 4-10, so Rucker against a righty. 4-10 is a fly ball. Center field X. Center fielder is McGee. He's a 2. That's a 15. That's a good play. So McGee hauls it in. Eighth inning's in the books. We go to the top of the ninth. Last chance for the Cardinals. It's the Cubs clinging to a 6-5 to lead. And coming on for the Cubbies. Try to earn the save is Lee Smith. And he'll be facing the bottom portion of the order. It'll be David Green, Ozzie Smith, and then we'll get a pinch hitter, Terry Pendleton, for Rucker. So right now, though, it's going to be Lee Smith. He's coming in to pitch the top of the ninth. Try to close the deal, protect the 6-5 to five lead. He's going to start things off against first baseman David Green. So 4-10. It's Lee Smith against a right-hander. 4 is a fly ball center field access. They're near. He's a 1. Oops, oh, Denier is a 1, it was a 5. A 1 and a 5, and that's a good play. So there's one away as Denier hauls it in. Brings up Ozzie Smith, and all it takes is one run, so if Ozzie can get on, I'm sure he'll be looking to run. It's a 4-11 against Lee Smith, and that's a ground ball to first. Handled by Moreland, two down. Now it's up to Terry Pendleton, the pinch hitter. Last chance for the Cardinals. It's a 5-11. Switch hitter batting left against Lee Smith. Ground ball pitcher X. And Lee Smith's a 2 with an E0. So as long as there's no range play to worry about, the game's going to be over. It's a 13. That's an error check. And the game is over. Lee Smith makes the play. And picks up the save. Rick Sutcliffe gets the win. Giving up uh, five, 5 runs, 4 earned in 7 and a third innings. So there's your ball game. Cubs win it by the score of 6-5. to five. And now we're ready for just a couple of minutes of uh, or seconds of cleanup duty here. We're ready for our regularly scheduled game, which is going to pit the Cubbies again on the road this time at Dodger Stadium to take on the L.A. Dodgers. So first things first, we'll move the Cardinals out of the way. And get the, Cub, uh, the Cubs and the Dodgers all set up. And actually, Sutcliffe won't be on the mound because he's the visitor. Cubs are the visitor. So, we're going to look at, starting for the Dodgers, in this game is Oral Hershiser. And these are the as-played lineups. With uh, one exception, Jay Johnstone scheduled to uh, be in the lineup for the Cubs. Don't have a card for him, so he will be substituted for by Thad Bosley. So I wanted another lefty in there to kind of mimic the left-handed Johnstone. So we're going to have Ron Say is going to be back in the lineup, and Thad Bosley's in the lineup. Leon Durham must have been having some issues, either injury or whatever, because he's going to miss his second consecutive game. So the lineups are going to be Dernier, Sandberg as usual, with the Sarge, Matthews, hitting third. And then uh, cleanup, we're going to have Keith Moreland. Joey Davis is going to hit fifth. Ron Say is going to hit sixth. Bosley will hit seventh. Boa eighth. And then Sutcliffe ninth. And Sutcliffe's using pitcher hitting card number four. And for the Dodgers, we need to... Get their lineup straight for the Dodgers. 
Let's see. Hershizer, first of all, is going to use picture hitting card number three. So we need to get a picture hitting card number three over here for Hershizer. So we'll do that real quick as soon as I can find it. Picture hitting card number three should be shortly around here because Tudor used that the other day. So I obviously have it close by. Just got to remember what to do with it. All right, so picture hitting card number three for Hershizer. There it is, picture hitting card number three. So Hershizer will be ready with that. And the Dodger lineup will have Steve Sachs leading off, playing second base. R.J. Reynolds in center hits third. I'm sorry, hits second. Franklin Stubbs in right hits third. Pedro Guerrero at cleanup and playing third base. Mike Marshall is in left field hitting fifth. Mike Shosa, the catcher, hitting sixth. Greg Brock. First base hitting 7th, Bill Russell shortstop hitting 8th, and Oral Hershiser batting ninth. One downfall for the Dodgers in this particular set is there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of the 8 fielders have 4 defensive ratings as their range. So, pretty weak defensively. We'll see if that comes back to bite them. Right now, Bob Dernier is stepping in, and he is ready to lead things off for the Cubbies against... Oral Hershiser and game three for Sutcliffe and company is now underway. Ooh, a little leaner there. So let's see, it's a, one, a 5 5. Hershiser against a right hander, ground ball shortstop X, and it's a shortstop Bill Russell. He's one of those fours. It's a 4 E28. A 4, but it's a 20, so he got a break and he'll make the play. So one away. As Dernier is out, brings up Sandberg. Sandberg, it's a 5-8 against Hershiser, and that's a strikeout for out number two. <clears throat> two up, two down, brings up the Sarge, Gary Matthews. 6-4, six, 6-4 four, six, four for Hershiser is an in-home run chance, 1-13. to 14-20 is a fly to left. And Matthews does have in power, so 1 to 13 is a homer. 14 to 20, he'll just fly to the left. And that is a 5. So, how about that? Gary Matthews with a solo shot. Puts the Cubs up 1 to nothing. Brings up Keith Moreland. It's a 4 3. 4 3 against Hershiser. Fly ball left field X. Left fielder Marshall, he's also a 4. And that's a 13, so might be an error check. Let's take a look here. 4 and a 13 is an error check, so Marshall is an E6. And that's a 2. E6 and a 2, so uh, we're going to have a 3 base error, but we're going to roll the white die because the 2 here on the E6 is split. If you roll a 1 on the white die, it's a 3 base error. A 2 through 6 on the white die, it'll be fly ball A. It's a 3, so he did make the catch. So Marshall avoids disaster, makes the play. Cubs do pick up the run, though, on the Matthews homer. And after half an inning of play here at Chavez Ravine in Los Angeles, it's the Cubs 1 and the Dodgers coming to bat. And Rick Sutcliffe back on the mound, 2-0, to start this replay. And Steve Sachs will lead things off. And if I remember correctly, this is the game he lost in his 16-1 record. This was his one loss in this game in real life. Let's go see if he can get past that. Here's Sachs. It's a 3-2 for Sachs, and that's a home run chance, 1-12. 13 to 20 is a double. So either way, Sachs is going to make some noise here early. That's a 19, so that's a leadoff double for Steve Sachs. Steve Sachs leads things off with a double. Brings up R.J. Reynolds, switch hitter. It's a 1-5 for Reynolds, and he's going to get the ground ball to first. Ground ball A, that's going to move the runner up. So one away, but Sachs goes to third with only one out. And they'll play the infield back, of course. They don't give a, a big inning or anything. Franklin Stubbs. Stubbs is a 2-7. And he's going to strike out, so didn't matter about the infield right there. 
Sutcliffe struck him out. Now it's a big matchup with Pedro Guerrero. Last chance in the inning for the Dodgers to break through. It's a 6 8. 6 8 on Sutcliffe is a fly ball to left, and that's going to end the inning. So he pitches around that leadoff double. And after one inning, it is Cubs 1, Dodgers nothing. And Jody Davis, the catcher, will be leading things off for the Cubbies against Mr. Hershiser. Jody Davis. 3 6, 3 6. Uh, 1 to 4 is a home run chance. 5 to 20 is a fly to left. That's a 17, so that's a deep fly to left. One away. Brings up the Penguin, Ron Say. He's back in the lineup after missing the last game. It is a 1 8 for the Penguin. 1 8 is a walk. So Ron Say, a one out walk. Ron Say, Say, Say. There's Thad Bosley. He's the one who's taking the place of Johnstone. 6-7 against Hershiser against a lefty. 1 to 14 is a single. 15 to 20 is a line out to short. That's a 17, so it's a line out to short for out number two. Brings up shortstop Larry Boa. Boa, 6-6. Six, six. Switch hitter batting left against Hershiser. It's a single to left field. Single to left field. That will move Say over to second base. <clears throat> two on, two out for Rick Sutcliffe. 6-6. Six, six. Sutcliffe does bat lefty. 6-6 six, six is another single to left field. So let's see if that can score the run. The left fielder, Marshall, is a zero arm. Ron Say as a runner. Ron Say. Check his running ability. He runs at an 11. He was not being held. He'll get uh, two for there being two outs. Makes it a 13. So 1 to 13, he'll make it. They're going to go ahead and send him. And it's a 7. He is in there with a safely across the plate as Sutcliffe gets the RBI. Cubs now lead it 2 to nothing. So Sutcliffe helping his own cause there. Here's Dernier. 110. 110's a strikeout, and that's going to end the inning. But the Cubs pick up another run, and we go to the bottom of the second to score. Two to nothing in favor of the Cubs. Mike Marshall will lead things off against Sutcliffe. He enjoys a two nothing lead now. Marshall, Mike Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. 512 against Sutcliffe is a walk. So a leadoff walk to Marshall. That'll bring up Mike Sosha, catcher. That's a 3-9. Three 3-9 nine. Three nine is another walk. So back-to-back -back walks. Not what Sutcliffe had in mind with a 2-0 lead. Don't we'll start walking, guys. Here's Greg Brock. Maybe they can turn two. 3-3 for Brock. It's a ground ball first base B, so it's a fielder's choice. Won't be two. He'll put runners at the corners with one out for Bill Russell, shortstop. Still a chance to turn two, maybe. 3-6. Three, 3-6 six. Three, six is a single 1-14 to 14 and a line out to short 15-20. to 20. That's a single with one star, and that will score Marshall. And the Dodgers are on the board, cutting the lead to 2-1. to one. Runners at first and second. One out for Hershiser, who's using pitcher hitting card number three. A little swing away. 5-4. Five, 5-4 four. Five, four against Sutcliffe is a ground ball. I'm sorry, fly ball center field X. That's Dernier. He's a 1. And that's an 18, so that's a good play. So, 2 away. Back to the top of the order in Steve Sachs. Two on, two out. Sachs, a 6 9 against Sutcliffe, is a fly to center, and that's going to end the inning. But the Dodgers do pick up a run, and after two complete, it is Los Angeles trailing Chicago by the score of 2 to 1. 
and we're going to start the third. And we will have Ryan Sandberg to lead things off against Mr. Hershiser. So Sandberg facing Hershiser. Ooh, and we get a 412 for Hershiser. Fly ball right field, and that's one away. We'll bring up Gary Matthews, the Sarge. 2 7 for Matthews is a single to center field. So one out single. He's two for two. Homer in the single. Brings up Keith Moreland. Moreland, a 6 6 against Hershiser, is a 1 to 2 double. Anything else is a fly to left. And that's a fly to left. Two outs for Jody Davis, catcher. Davis, a 5-10 against Hershiser, and that's a strikeout. <clears throat> that's going to end the top of the third. Nothing doing for the Cubbies there. We go to the bottom of the third. Still 2-1. to one. And it'll be R.J. Reynolds to start the third. Bottom of the third against Sutcliffe. Make sure the right card in there. All right, Sutcliffe. 611 Reynolds is a switch hitter batting left. That's a ground ball pitcher X. Sutcliffe's an E10. He's a 2E10. And that's a 17. So a pitcher and a 2 and a 17. That might be a range play. Let's check it out here. 2 and a 7. Nope, that's an error check. So he is an E10. And that's a 6. So a pitcher E10 and a 6 is a ground ball A. Ground ball A. So. Sutcliffe makes the play. One down, we go to Franklin Stubbs. Stubbs, a 6-11 against the lefty, and that's another ground ball pitcher X, so we go through the whole thing again. That's a 6-9, uh, so we're doing an error check again on E10. And that's a 7, so an E10 pitcher and a 7. Here's another ground ball A because it's six and seven, six through twelve was a ground ball A. So it's two ground ball A's there for two quick outs. And Pedro Guerrero, batter. We get a six seven. Six seven's a strikeout by Sutcliffe. And that's going to end the inning rather easily. So three innings in the books, and it's the Cubbies two and the Dodgers one. Hershiser back on the bump to face the Penguin, Ron Say. Ron Say walked and scored his first time. 3-4 for Ron Say is a hit by pitch, so he gets plunked. So the Penguin gets plunked. Brings up Thad Bosley. 4-7 against a lefty, Hershiser. 4-7 is a strikeout. And away for Larry Boa. Short stop. That's a 3-7 for Boa, and that is a ground ball first base B. That's a fielder's choice. 3-6, so Boa reaches first with two outs. For Sutcliffe, he did have an RBI single this first time. 2-10 this time. 2-10 against a the pitcher card four is a fly ball to center. And that's going to end the inning. So we go to the bottom of the fourth. Still two to one in favor of the Cubbies. Sutcliffe back on the mound to face Mike Marshall to lead things off. And Marshall, <clears throat> his first time up, he walked and scored. 3 6 for Marshall it is a home run chance, 1 to 8. 9 to 20 is a double. But a 1 to 8, we got a tie ball game. It's a 3, so we got a tie ball game. Mike Marshall just gone deep. We are now tied at 2. Is Marshall unloaded? Brings up Mike Sosha. Sosha, 4 6 against the lefty. That's a 1 for a double. Anything else is a single. And that's a single for Sosha. The Dodgers looking to break in 
you get in the lead right now. Here's Greg Brock. That's a 1-5 for Brock. That's ground ball shortstop A. 6-4-3 double play. Sutcliffe definitely needed that. Two down, bases empty for Bill Russell. 4-9. Four, 4-9 nine. Four, nine against Sutcliffe is a walk. Two out walk. And if nothing else, that will allow Hershiser to bat. Clear him this inning so they can start with Sacks the next inning. But you never know, he might reach. And then again, he might not. 1 5. Ground ball to short. That's going to end the inning. And at least it will clear the lineup so Sacks can lead off in the fifth. So after four complete, we are tied at 2 to 2, thanks to the home run by Mike Marshall. Start the fifth. Hershiser back out there. Top of the order for both lineups. Bob Dernier to lead things off. It's basically a brand new ball game. 2-9. 2-9 for Dernier. 1-7 is a triple. 8-20 <clears throat> is a double. And we get a 6. So that is a triple for Bob Dernier. Bob Dernier with a leadoff triple. As the Cubbies try to reclaim the lead. Bring up Ryan Sandberg. They're going to play the infield back. Nobody out. They don't want a big inning. 6-5 for Hershiser. Well, it doesn't matter what the infield is. One's a triple and anything else is a single. And the runs can score anyway. And it is an RBI single for Sandberg. And just that quickly, the Cubs reclaim the lead. 3-2. to two. Now, Sandberg is an A stealer, so let's check out some possible stealing options here. Sosha's arm is a, is a minus one. An A stealer starts at a 15. He's being held. It's a 13 because you lose two. And then minus one is a 12. So a one to 12, and he could make it, or he would make it, actually. One to 12. Are they going to try it? Why not? One to 12. He'll make it. It's a 13. He got thrown out. So caught stealing for Sandberg. Maybe got greedy. Two to six. One away for Gary Matthews. It's a four-four against Hershiser, and that's a ground ball to short. Ground ball short, and that is Russell. He's a four E28. A four and an eight at shortstop. Four and an eight is an error check. So Again, Russell is an E28, and that's a 4 on an E28. So a 4 on an E28, 4 is a 1 base error for the shortstop. E28, a 4 is a 1 base error. So fielding problems for the Dodgers as expected. E6 for Russell. Brings up Keith Moreland. Moreland a 6-4 against Hershiser. And there's an in-home run chance again, 1-13. 14-20 is a fly out. That's a 17, so it'll be a long fly ball. Moreland has fly to left all three times, so he's just missed the dingers. Two down for Jody Davis. 3-6 for Jody Davis. A 1-4 is a home run. Anything else, it'll be a fly to left and the inning will be over. And it's a 12, so it's a fly to left with the inning over. So, <clears throat> Cubs just get the one run. Could have been worse. And they take a 3-2 lead into the bottom of the fifth against the Dodgers. And Steve Sachs will lead things off for the Dodgers against Sutcliffe. Sachs, see if he can get something jump started. 4-3 against Sutcliffe is a fly ball left field X. That's Matthews. And Matthews is an E4, uh, I'm sorry, a 4 E14. So 4 and an 8. Let's check the left fielder. 4 and 8. 4 and an 8 is an error check. So we're going to check Matthews for the error. And it is a 5. And he is an E14. So an E14 and a 5 is a 2 base error for Moreland. I'm sorry, for Matthews, so two base error, E7 for Gary Matthews. 
<clears throat> and Steve Sachs is a, in scoring position to start the inning. R.J. Reynolds. R.J. Reynolds, a 4-9 against Sutcliffe, is a strikeout. One away for Franklin Stubbs. Stubbs, a 5-10, is a strikeout. So Sutcliffe trying to take care of business himself. He's got to deal with Pedro Guerrero. It's a 6-7 against Sutcliffe, and that's another strikeout. So he comes back to strike out the side and take care of business in the fifth. Picking up his teammate, Gary Matthews, after that error. So we go to the sixth. Still Cubs three and Dodgers two. Both pitchers have a fatigue inning beginning of eight, so they're still good to go. Here's the penguin, Ron Say. Two three for Say is a pop out to third. <clears throat> One away for Thad Bosley. Bosley, a 5-6. Against the lefty is a strikeout. So Bosley, 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. Not filling in for Johnstone very well. Here's Larry Boa. 4-8 against Hershiser, and that's a liner to second. It's going to end the inning. Three up, three down. We go to the bottom of the six, still three to two Cubs. And it'll be Mike Marshall who homered his last time up to tie the game. He's going to lead off the six. He's got a chance to homer and tie again. 6-9 <clears throat> against Sutcliffe is a fly to center. That's one away. Still getting over this cold. One day it'll be gone. And I can speak normally. Here's Sosha. 6-9 against a lefty is a ground ball to second. Out number two for Greg Crocodile Brock. 1-6 is a ground ball to first. That's going to end the inning. Handled by Moreland very easily. Six innings in the books. It's the Cubs three and the Dodgers two. And it'll be Rick Sutcliffe to lead off the top of the seventh. And then it'll be followed by Dernier and Sandberg. That is a 6-6 six, six against a left-handed batter. 6-6 six, six is a single. Because remember, Sutcliffe throws right, but he bats left. So it's a 6-6, six, six, and that's a single off of Hershiser. And Sutcliffe is 2-3 for three on the day. Dernier is an A bunter, so they're going to have him bunt. So we go to the sacrifice bunt chart. They're expecting it, so it would be a B bunter. That's a 9, so a B bunter... And a 9 says batter is thrown out by a third baseman, runners advance. So good play there, good sacrifice hit by Dernier. Gets the job done. Sutcliffe goes to second with no with one out now for, for uh, Sandberg. Sandberg, it's a 4-6 against Hershiser, and he's going to strike out. That's out number two. It'll be up to Matthews to get it done. Whoa, lost that one under here. That's a 2-11. 2-11 for Matthews is a ground ball to short. That's going to end the inning. <clears throat> so, seventh inning stretch time. Still 3-2. to two. The Cubs clinging to that lead. And... We will have Bill Russell to lead things off. Now, Hershiser is set to bat second this inning, but uh, they made it, may let him hit. We'll have to wait and see. 4-7. Four, 4-7 seven. Four, seven against Sutcliffe. 4-7 is a single 1-10 to ten and a line out to second 11-20. to 20. That's a 15. I'm sorry, 19. So that's a line out to short. I'm second, rather. One away. So they're going to go ahead and have Hershiser bat for himself. So 3-7. Three, 3-7 seven. Three, seven for Hershiser is a strikeout. So that's out number two. Brings up Steve Sachs. Sachs, a 4-6 against Sutcliffe. 1-15 to 15 is a double. And 16-20 is a single. 
That's a double for Steve Sachs, a two out double. So he's aboard with two outs as the tie and run. And here's RJ Reynolds, chance to tie the game with a base hit. It's a 2 8 for Reynolds, but he's going to strike out, and that's the end of the seventh. So Dodgers had a chance, couldn't quite pull it through with the two out base hit. We go to the eighth, it's still three to two Cubs. And this is the point of weakness inning for both pitchers. They will begin their point of weakness inning. Keith Moreland leading off. 1-8 for Moreland, and that's a potential home run. 1-15. to 16-20 to 20 is a double. And that's a, a 5, so Keith Moreland just launches a home run off of Hershiser to, to extend the lead to 4-2. to two. Big insurance run there. Here's Jody Davis. That's a 6-11 off of Hershiser. Ground ball, first base, X. Again, we're looking at fielding. Could be issues. Franklin Stubbs, a 4. And that is an 8. So 4 and 8 is a uh, error check. And Stubbs is an E11. And that's a 7. So first baseman, E11 and a 7. He does make the play. Ground ball A. So Stubbs able to corral that. <clears throat> One away for the Penguin, Ron Say. 6-12. 6-12 against Hershiser's Ground ball back to Hershiser for out number two. And it brings up Thad Bosley. Mr. 0 for 3. So 1-6. One, 1-6. Six. One, six. Well, he won't be 0 for 3 anymore. It's 1-12 to 12 is a triple. And 13-20 is to 20 is a single. So we got a 19, and that's going to be a base hit for Bosley. Gets him off the schneid. Brings up Larry Boa. Larry Boa, a 2-5. Two 2-5 five. Two five is a line out to short. Inning is over. So we go to the bottom of the eighth, but the Cubs do pick up that insurance run thanks to the home run by Keith Moreland. And we go to the bottom of the eighth. It's the Cubs 4 and the Dodgers 2. And we're going to have Sutcliffe facing Franklin Stubbs. Sutcliffe, a 4-10 against the lefty Stubbs, is a ground ball to third base X. Ron Say. Ron Say is a 4, E13. 4 and a 20, though, so that's a good play with that 20. Ron Say able to make the play. One away for Pedro Guerrero. Guerrero, a 2-9, is a ground ball to short. Two down for Socha. I'm sorry, I got Marshall in there. It is Marshall. Socha's on deck. My bad. Marshall's up. 4-7 against a right-hander is going to be a 1-10 single. 11-20 is a line-out to second. And that's a 13, so it's a line out to second, and the inning is over. So we go to the ninth. So we're still four to two. We have a new pitcher for the Dodgers. And we're going to get a pinch hitter for the Cubs because Sutcliffe is scheduled to lead off. So we got some changes coming up for both teams. First things first for the Dodgers. They're going to go to their bullpen, and they're going to turn to... Ken Howell, the right-hander, Ken Howell, he is in, which means we need a corresponding move from the Cubs for a pinch hitter, and they're going to go to, let's see who I might want to use here, they're going to use Davy Lopes, the veteran Davy Lopes, former Dodger, put him against his old mates, see what he can do. So Davy Lopes leading off the top of the ninth against Howell. It's a 4-11 against a right-hander. Ground ball third base X, that's Guerrero. That's tr usually trouble. He's a 4. And that is a 9, so I believe that's an error check. And it is, and that's not good because he's an E37. So most likely will be an error. We get a 9. So an E37... And a 9 is, in fact, a one-base error. So, error on Guerrero. E5. 
will and actually that was uh, let's see here actually that should have been should that have been I'm thinking that should have been bow is at bat that should have been bow is at bat my bad got the pinch hitter up one bat or two early because Bowler was a scheduled leadoff hitter, not Sutcliffe. So, if we put it back over here to what he had before, it's a ground ball third base X. So, I believe it was a 512. Or it might have been a 4. No, it's against a right hander. It would have been here. So, I'm thinking it was a 512. Or it could have been a 411. I think it was a 411, actually. 411 against a lefty would have been a fly ball left field X. So let me go back and fix this and redo this. Actually, I'm just going to redo the whole of bat. I'm not going to try to recreate it. I'm just going to redo the whole of bat. I think that's the fairest thing to do. So Boa leading off 2 7. He's going to pop it up to first. So might be a little tainted there, but that's, I don't know what else to do with it. Just try to make it fair and try to recreate stuff. Sometimes you don't remember what you just rolled. So here's Lopes this time. It's a 4 8 against Howell, and that's a strikeout. So Lopes is going to strike out in his pinch hitting duties. Lee Smith is in the bullpen ready to go for the bottom of the ninth. Try to secure the victory. Here's Dernier. Dernier, it's a 1 11 against a uh, right hander. Dernier, 1 11 is a grounder to short. And the inning's over, so Howell pitches a 1 2 3 ninth. And we go to the bottom of the ninth, last chance for the Dodgers. And they'll have to do it against Lee Smith. So Lee Smith looks to put this one away. He'll be facing Mike Sosha. To lead things off, it'll be Sosha and then Brock. So Sosha, then Brock against Lee Smith. It's a 2 4 for Sosha against a right hander. 2 4 is a ground ball to first. One away for Greg Brock. They might pinch hit for Russell. Russell's on deck. 6 5 for Brock. Lee Smith against the lefty, 6-5 is a strikeout. Out number two. Oh, you know I had it mixed up there too. Brock, Brock was actually the leadoff hitter. And uh, I believe Sosha was out off of Lee Smith's card. Ground out to first. Pretty sure he was. Now, you know what? I think it was a 2-4. So I wanted to redo that at bat, too. So my bad. I'm a little bit confused here, apparently. <laughs> Got my score sheet to the side here, and I didn't pay attention to who was leading off doing what. So Greg Brock's the leadoff batter against Lee Smith. I'll get it right. 4-9. Lee Smith against the lefty. 4-9 is actually going to be a single. So Greg Brock's going to single to start off the bottom of the ninth. And that'll bring up Bill Russell, but we could get a pinch hitter for Russell. And I believe we will. It'll be Ken Landro. So Ken Landro is going to pinch hit for Bill Russell. Then we'll need a pinch hitter for the relief pitcher, Ken Howell. Right now it's Ken Landro. 2 5 for Landro is a pop out to first, and that's out number one. Out number one, and now we've got the pinch hitter, and it's going to be. Candy Maldonado. Oh, let me take that back. 244 for him. Yep, it's going to be Candy Maldonado. So Candy Maldonado is going to pinch hit. Right here. The runner at first and one out. Lee Smith trying to save it. For Hershiser. 6-6. Six, six. Lee Smith against the righty. 6-6 six, six is a strikeout. Strikeout. So two down, and we're down to Steve Sachs. Last chance. He is the tie and run against Lee Smith. 5-6. I'm sorry, 5-5. Five, 5-5 five. Five, five is a ground ball second base X. That is Sandberg. He's a 1. 
And that's a seven, so I believe that's a good play. One and a seven is a GBA, and that's going to be the ball game. So despite a couple of little snafus there in the end, the Cubbies get the victory over the Dodgers. And Rick Sutcliffe goes to 3-0 and on the season, or on his replay, I should say. And with a little help from Lee Smith to get it done. So he's going to be 3-0, and and then what I'll do for game four, before I start game four, I'll go over the replay stats for Sutcliffe and compare them against what he did in real life after three games. And the next uh, scheduled game for Hershiser is going to be on July 4th, 1984, which is going to be against the San Diego Padres in Southern California. It'll be a rematch of the NLCS. So it'll be Rick Sutcliffe against Eric Schau. That'll be coming up next in the next game that Sutcliffe pitches. It'll be game five. I'm sorry, game four. He's 3-0 and right now. And before we start game four, like I said, I will give a uh, after three game review of how Sutcliffe is doing in the replay versus his real life stats. So I hope you enjoyed that presentation of Rick Sutcliffe 1984 replay with Stratomatic. And until next time, hopefully with a better voice, I will see you down the road.